dishes. I swear to you guys. Like, seriously. Okay, I made cookies. That's what that is. But this is like one evening of dishes. It's not even like a day. It's the fact that we have no counter space and like, let me show you. Like, I mean, I know that's dishes, so let's ignore that. Look at that. I have a, a skinnier, taller bread box I'm going to replace this guy with, but like potatoes and melons and spaghetti squash and you got like the sink we put this guy on um and i understand he doesn't match but i thought he was really cute and pretty but um like because the original faucet was like this high and about that far out and it was impossible to wash dishes in and they didn't have one of these at all so we put that guy on so you come over here and you that's how much space you have here and then when you go over this way, that's your space. And my kitchen is a mess, guys. I just burned out by the last, by yesterday evening, I was just done. So I have dishes to wash, but I wash them all the time. Like breakfast, wash, lunch, wash. And by the time dinner comes around, I do not feel like washing anymore. I'm done. Like seriously, I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. All right, this is my favorite kind of cleaner in the world. It's so awesome and you just. So I usually try to do this at nighttime, but like I said earlier, I wasn't feeling very much like doing it for like the third time in a day. Sorry, my washer is going. So. We're wiping it up. All the little yuckies. Cat hair, because at night they get up here and they walk around on it. So bad. They're so bad. Okay, I don't have any spray, so in a heated pan, I'm going to put some, um, What's it called? Coconut oil? Yeah. With my fingers, because I don't want to dirty anything else. Because I have too many dishes to do anyway. Right? Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. Alright. Move that around. Take these egg whites. I have three egg whites that I am vigorously beating and putting in there. And then I read on, I think it was Pinterest, perhaps it was the Google. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but let's get a better angle. I read you use chopsticks to get a good, I guess, you, I don't know, I was about to say a curd, but a curd is when cheese goes bad, right? Or milk. But anyway, a good scramble. If you use one chopstick, you get bigger scrambles, two chopsticks, smaller scrambles. So this is how I scramble my eggs with the choppy sticks. And then once I get them to this level, I kind of... Boom, 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 boom. Do like that. And then I take one of these and I kind of re solid, like make them a solid mass. I have some green onions in there. I love green onions, but they're so hard to keep nice and firm and good. Like they go like kind of wet and limp so fast and that's not fun. So I'm just cooking him up. I'm going to let him sit like this for a second. He's pretty much done. I'm going to spread him out a bit. And then a light sprinkle of Himalayan eggs. 
see that. It actually is not that much. It doesn't come pouring out. It's like bigger green, so it doesn't come pouring out the same way that um it would if it was the small white stuff. I'm gonna turn off my fire. Take my plate right here and move it there. And then it's gonna take a while for him to go to cool down. So you gotta stay away. It's not like pepper. And I had previously chopped myself some apple, which is kind of gross. It's, I don't know, the apple is tasting weird. Uh, my wife just bought them for me. And I was expecting them to be like these big juicy apples and instead they're kind of like, ugh. So, there you go. There's breakfast. So currently the um, living room is a great big evolution. The dog bed, this, this is like a mattress topper that we cut in half and I am actually going to sew this comforter. You look so pretty. Yes, you do. How could I make a video and not comment on how gorgeous you look striking that pose, baby? I love you. I do. Okay, and I'm going to keep talking. All right, so this comforter is going to get sewn up to be like a pillowcase for their dog bed. And the dog bed is going to get made about a foot shorter. So it's more like a runner than taking up the whole living room. Um, this chair came from Amber's parents. Uh, it was unplanned. The plan, it was a totally different plan. And this chair kind of threw it all out the window and made replacing this thing kind of pop up in priority. It's not that clean. I have to straighten the whole living room. But anyway, um, this chair and a half, Amber found on the side of the road and checked it out thoroughly and brought it home because we got rid of our couch and had no real couch situation. So she brought it home. But the thing is, it's uncomfortable. It's okay for one person, but we're a family of four, not one, not two, not three, four. So you have one seating arrangement and then you got another chair that's one person and it just became a whole different situation. Um, so... I I was like, no, this is not okay. I'm getting a couch, a small two-seater couch, um, which is going to take up about 10 inches less room this way and about 6 inches less room that way. And this is my ottoman, which is so cute, but the cats keep scratching it, so it's covered in a blanket. So all the cute just went out the world, and now it looks kind of sloppy. But the cool thing about this ottoman, I will show you when I'm rearranging, straightening up the kitchen, is that it has storage so much storage it's ridiculous and we can use it to seat two people at the table once our new table is put in we have a sofa on the porch and i don't know i don't know if i ever showed you guys but I'll show you now um so because paisley can't use stairs we have a ramp for her this was all just thrown together out of things we had around when we really didn't have much and with tools that we had which we really didn't have much so we have a ramp we took the railing down off of the porch right here so that they could go down and they have the dog yard which is really just simple they call it um cow fencing so it's just it kind of and it goes all the way around like they can't go under the house or anything because it goes all the way around we have a gate so that Amber can get in there and cut the grass and it goes all the way out and they have a nice little yard. This I think is a peach tree but I also think she's having some um, some sort of leaf disease or rot. If you'll notice she's defoliaging like her, her leaves are falling off right here and that I think has to do with the leaf disease. They say that that won't kill the plant because she loses her leaves anyway when it gets cold so hopefully in the cold we actually have several this one this peach tree is having that go on and then this is a walnut tree i think it's a black walnut tree and it um actually gives us sorry i touched the button it actually gives us these things i don't know if it's focusing or not sorry guys but it gives us these things and inside of those, 
you have walnuts like you pull it apart and you have walnuts so she also has what seems to be like a um a leaf of disease going on so we're hoping to get that under control this winter so that when they come back the next year we can actually have some fruit and nuts and stuff so anyway this is the other side of the porch this is the baby gate this is actually going to be we're going to use the spindles that we removed from over there to make a better gate really nice but for now this serves our purpose and i'm going to go check the mail and i'm going to take you guys with me i'm going to show you a couple things i don't know if i might have shown you already or if you're on my instagram you've seen this but this is the the, the ground the um walkway that amber made for us to kind of make it easier to come and go and then it's where we've been burning boxes i just got that uh sofa delivery so things are a little changed out but this is the walkway i know i've shown you this i love this area that's actually not our property right there um like I'm on the neighbor's property now kind of like that that's what happens there like right that's the property line all the way up so that's not really ours but so going to get the mail I am attempting to do something about this so that is what it looks like but that is what I got done and then that's where I have to stop because I am NOT a dryer I do not like drying the two things I do not like doing is drying and putting away and these little miscellaneous bits but I'm gonna get as much of this done as possible the wife is usually my dryer put away so I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna start on some lunch things um, for the wife for the upcoming week and some other stuff and then I'll come back to it 30 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just drinking my coffee yeah tiny house easy wreckage you guys know I like a challenge or I like to screw myself whatever way you want to look at it but so I needed one of these containers listen to this story this is the living room I was trying to straighten so that we could bring that new couch in um clearly I didn't straighten it I made more of a mess but anyway I need one of these blue containers because we are having potty problems with poppy <laughs> potty problems poppy anyway um, so I need one of these containers and there were two stacked right there that I've been needing to go through they are jewelry stuff some of it can live outside in the storage shed I need to know I actually found a lot of inventory that I need to take photos of and post so if you're interested in natural esque type jewelry wiccan witch or natural esque because it's a lot of stones bones wire um that's what i work with and you guys probably know that but anyway i'm about to do a lot of uh posting like photographing and posting of designs to try to sell some of that off uh that's inventory all right so i was moving things around come to find out there was a there was an empty one underneath the bottom guy so i actually didn't have to do this right now but i need to do it anyway i got uh, my display and uh show setup items and i'm taking care of things but i just wanted to show you this is what i did to myself when i still need to go and get involved in food and everything else yeah so i don't know if you should have like an opening statement at like so that's the trash can we had which sucks because it is swinging lid first of all it gets disgusting second of all the cats can get in it third of all trash piles up and the lid doesn't close as seen so bad situation but cute color this guy was white and i couldn't take it you guys saw me transform him and the finally art is happening so now that's gonna be and he's cool because oh uh, what uh, one more time making a really simple smoothie i was gonna make it um as banana ice cream but a friend of mine called and she needs me to go help her out with something so i'm gonna go i'm gonna convert it into a smoothie by adding water to make it a little more liquidy so i can drink it on the road my tire pressure 
monitoring system light will not go off. So my tires have all been checked. The little indicator of like actual tire issues is still good. I don't know. I'm gonna bring it to the uh, dealership. And look, that's my smoothie for a lovely lady who was raising up two very lovely girls. That is not the real song. Having a snack of hummus that I just made uh, out of garbanzo beans in the mix and a baby carrot, like, I mean, carrot, a baby cucumber. Dinner, it's baked chicken and spinach. Yep. Well, it only took all day and I still have silverware, which I told you guys I hate to do, but I did actually get those dishes done. I gotta put these away. Uh, my wife came home, she was my dryer and my putter wear, and we got them done. And now I'm about to dirty them up again, making her food for tomorrow and the rest of the week. So there is the new couch. I absolutely love it. Let me go put the light on in here. It's so cute. Um, this, that's the tag. Let me show you. Remember I told you all, he doesn't have anything in him yet. He is probably going to be... That is like giant. It's like up to my elbow, really nice and big, lots of storage. It's probably gonna be art supplies and stuff. So, yeah, that's uh, what we're doing. Very excited. It's nice. It's lovely. Um, oh, and earlier I mentioned the table. The table is actually something Amber is gonna build, and it's gonna be in a cabinet wall mounted so it'll fold down so the space will remain pretty open i also wanted to note these new curtains which are actually shower curtains from world market but i love them i love them and they are all the colors of our house all beautifully in a curtain and i'm just totally in love it changes the whole world and you might not have noticed but this one was changed earlier today and this one was the green that was left here so if you go back and you look at the video when that horrible couch and everything else was going on you'll be able to see it before and this is the after and i love it final food of the day some frozen grapes like a snack love it 